femur to the knee, from the femur to the knee on either side of the leg. That's this whole wad of thigh you have here. So what I'm saying is one is going straight down the leg to the knee, and the other ones are on either side, joining it. Those, and then there's one that's underneath the straight one. So those four are the quadriceps, okay? And they all work to straighten the knee. Whee! It's like one of those dancing piggies. Okay. I did that a lot when I was trying to figure out which muscle was where. I was like, okay, well, if I move it this way, which that's one's a, moving? That's the best thing you can do. <laughs> that is the best thing you can do with the muscles. So to go back to the quadriceps, this one, number 14, running straight down, is rectus femoris here. This is the vastus medialis on the medial side. This is vastus lateralis on the lateral side. And see how they're all converging to come down to the kneecap, which is right there. Mm -hmm. And they will all straighten the knee. The hamstrings, there's three hamstrings, okay, and they all come off this one spot. If you sit down, whoever's sitting on a chair, if you sit and kind of rock your butt back and forth, you'll feel that there's bone in your butt, okay, and you're sitting on these protuberances right there, and those protuberances are called ischial tuberosities, and they're big because the hamstrings come off of them. So I can feel this butt bone right here. I'm pinching it right now. And the three hamstring muscles all come off that bone right there. And they run down the back of the leg and they split. And they attach on either sides of the knee. So if you stick your fingers behind your kneecap, you feel a ditch back there. And there's muscle on one side and muscle on the other. That's all your hamstrings. So when you look at the piggy, okay, here's the piggy knee. This is that ditch behind the knee right here. So this is a hamstring on one side. And these two are hamstrings on the other side, this one and this one, okay? So the one on the lateral side, all of this, number nine, is the biceps femoris, not to be confused with the biceps brachii. And then these guys here and here are called semimembranosus and semitendinosus, okay? And the three of those together are the hamstrings, all coming off a common spot, all attaching below the knee on either side, and what do they do? They bend the knee, okay? And they can also retract the leg a little bit, too. So we've got the quadriceps, which will flex the knee. We've got the hamstrings that will, um, excuse me, the quadriceps that will extend the knee, the hamstrings that will flex the knee, okay? Quadriceps, hamstrings, contract the quadriceps, contract the hamstrings. All right, and those are the major <coughs> leg muscles. And then to bring the legs into the midline, you have an adductor muscle. This big muscle right here goes from the pubis. So it's going from the pubic symphysis here over to the thigh. So that's going to keep the thighs coming into the midline. And it's pretty big, and that's the adductor, adductor. And okay. on humans, at least, don't we have an abductor as well on the other side? No, the gluteus medius is actually our major abductor. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we have muscles that functionally are abductors, but they don't have the name abductor. Okay, so, so the leg, really all we've done is the quadriceps, which has a few muscles in it, the hamstrings, which has a few muscles in it, a gluteus muscle, and an adductor. It looks like a lot of flags, but if you put them in those groups, I think it's pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. All right, there you go.